Okay, what's up YouTube? This is J-Man Time, and today I have another rare weapon from the American Civil War. Now, this weapon here is probably one of the more rare weapons or more advanced weapons of the Confederate States of America. Now, during the American Civil War, both the Union and Confederate forces designed a variety of advanced weapons from that era, whether it be the Union Gatling gun, the Adrian machine gun, you know, or this weapon, the Wanan steam gun from 1860. The Wanan steam gun was a centrifugal steam cannon or steam auto cannon that was actually designed for the Confederate States of America. Now, the weapon was actually designed between the years 1858 and 1860 by a man named Charles S. Dickerson. Dickerson wanted to use the power of a new type of weapon known as a centrifugal gun, or a, a gun that uses a strange uh, mechanism that uses steam as an actual propellant to fire cartridges. Now, this weapon was pretty much the most advanced Confederate weapon in the year 1861, with the exception of the Confederate monitor warships. This weapon had a strange firing mechanism that actually used the steam as a propellant for the 38 caliber steel ball. Now, this mechanism used a rotating barrel or a rotating shield barrel, and that barrel would rotate upwards to 250 times per minute or about 250 rounds per minute in modern terminology. While this barrel was rotating, 38 caliber shots were usually dumped on top of the barrel and rolled down into a spring-loaded gate that would open to allow one shot to be fired per revolution of this revolving shield barrel. Now, despite the fact that this was an advanced weapon, its accuracy was still pretty poor when compared to other black powder firearms of the era. And so eventually the steam cannon was ultimately abandoned, but it was still issued on the front lines in 1861. Now, despite this weapon looking like a self-propelled armored fighting vehicle, it was actually drawn by a horse just like most artillery at the time. One has to remember that during the American Civil War, both auto cannons and Gatling guns were still treated like classical artillery pieces, which were usually horse-drawn howitzers or field guns. This Winon steam gun was still used like an artillery piece rather than and a mobile armored fighting vehicle that and the fact that it still needed horses to draw it so it was still a horse-drawn weapon overall so when i call this one of the first tanks i don't mean the first you know soap propelled tanks tanks like we saw in world war one with the um, british mark ones and the uh, french um, ft-17s but it is one of the earlier infantry fighting vehicles, early armored infantry fighting vehicles, you know, in America's history, even though it was built by the Confederate States of America rather than the Union Army, which was the army of uh, the United States of America. So, yeah. Now, this steam gun was actually based in Maryland, which at the time was under partial Confederate control. And in April 1860, the pro-Confederate Army of Maryland was attempting to stop the Union 6th Massachusetts Militia. As a result of the Union Army's advance, the mayor of Dickerson, which is actually the town that this gun was based in, actually took the weapon to be used by the local militia. The gun was actually stationed in an area known as the Thomas Viaduct for the remainder of that month of April 1861. Later on, on May the 11th, 1861, the Union Army managed to capture Winon Steam Cannon in an area known as Illox Mill, Maryland, where the Confederate forces were stationed. The Confederate forces of the area were overrun, and eventually the gun and its operators were captured by the Union Army. After its capture, the Wanan steam cannon was basically put out of commission as the Union Army had no real use for it, nor did they really know how it worked. So the gun pretty much was decommissioned for the rest of the war. 
And after the American Civil War, the Wenan steam cannon was scrapped sometime between the years 1870 and 1880, long after the American Civil War had ended, pretty much putting an end to what one could consider one of the earliest uh, infantry fighting vehicles or weapons to ever, to, to ever be used in the United States. Now, what are your thoughts on this weapon? What are your thoughts on the Wadan steam cannon? If you ask me, it, the weapon should have been preserved just like other weapons from the American Civil War, like um, both Union and Confederate submarine pro projects have been preserved mostly to this very day or have been recovered in the case in the case of the H.L. Hunley, which was a, an advanced Confederate submarine from the war. But unfortunately, the Wanan steam cannon was basically scrapped, putting it in to one of the rarest weapons of the American Civil War. Today's weapon is what could be considered one of the first true armored fighting vehicles in American military history. This weapon could be considered an early infantry fighting vehicle um, of the U.S. military history. Now, contrary to popular belief, the Union Army was not the only side in that war that had advanced technology. The Confederate military also had many great innovations that later contributed to American military ingenuity after the war. And one of those weapons was the Wanan Steam Cannon. So what do you think of the Wanan Steam Cannon? Please put your opinions in the comment section below, and until next time, this was Shayman Time, signing off.